The universe has a story to tell, an epic tale written in light, stretching across unimaginable distances and timescales. Every star, every galaxy, every wisp of cosmic dust is a word in this ancient narrative waiting to be deciphered. This story stretches back billions of years, to an era before our planet even existed, to the very dawn of time itself. For most of human history, we glimpsed only the latest chapters, just the most recent flickers of cosmic evolution. Our eyes and even our most powerful telescopes couldn't reach the universe's true beginning. The earliest moments remained hidden, shrouded in darkness and distance. Now we have a new window, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWS. It's the most ambitious observatory ever built, designed to answer questions we've only dared to ask. Orbiting a million miles from Earth, Webb captures the faintest, oldest whispers of light from the dawn of creation, peering deeper into space than any instrument before it. It's not just a telescope, it's a time machine, built to see the universe as it was over 13 billion years ago, when the first stars and galaxies were born. Hubble showed us a universe filled with galaxies, but its vision had limits. It could only peer so far, and the earliest light remained out of reach. The earliest light was too faint, too stretched by the expanding universe, too far for Hubble's eyes to see. Webb was designed to reveal the universe's opening lines, gently pulling apart the stuck pages of cosmic history and illuminating the mysteries of our origins. And what it's found is nothing short of revolutionary. Webb's discoveries are rewriting the textbooks and challenging our understanding of how everything began. In just a short time, JWST has exceeded expectations, peering into darkness and finding it teeming with ancient light, evidence of a universe more active and complex than we ever imagined. It's discovered galaxies older, more massive, and more complex than we thought possible so soon after the Big Bang, hinting at cosmic processes we're only beginning to understand. These findings force us to rethink how the universe built itself and challenge our theories about the first stars and galaxies. The story of the cosmos is richer, more dramatic, and more surprising than we ever imagined. Each new image is a revelation, a glimpse into a time we never thought we'd see. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolution in our perception of reality, a leap forward in our quest to understand where we come from. The universe's first chapters are finally open for us to read, and the story they tell is only just beginning. How can a telescope look back in time? It sounds impossible, but it's one of the most fascinating tricks of astronomy. The secret lies in the relationship between light and distance. Every time we look up at the night sky, we're actually seeing the universe as it was in the past. Light, though incredibly fast, takes time to travel across the vastness of space. The farther away something is, the older the light we see from it. For example, the sun's light takes about eight minutes to reach Earth. When you see a sunrise, you're seeing the sun as it was eight minutes ago. The light from Alpha Centauri, our closest star system, takes over four years to arrive. So we're always peering into the past. Webb takes this to the extreme, capturing light that's traveled for more than 13 and a half billion years, a direct glimpse into the universe's infancy just after the Big Bang. To achieve this, Webb is designed as a powerful infrared observatory, able to detect the faintest and most ancient signals. As the universe expands, the light from distant galaxies stretches into longer, redder wavelengths, what we call infrared. This process is known as redshift. Our eyes can't see this ancient stretched light, and even Hubble, as powerful as it is, couldn't match Webb's sensitivity to these wavelengths. That's why Webb's giant, gold-coated mirror was engineered, to collect and focus this incredibly faint ancient light from the edge of the observable universe. By focusing on infrared, Webb bypasses previous limits, revealing objects that are too cold, too faint, or too distant for any other telescope to detect. This includes dusty star nurseries where new stars are born, the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, and most importantly, the very first galaxies that ever formed in the cosmos. Working together with Hubble, which sees invisible and ultraviolet light, Webb completes the cosmic puzzle. Together, they reveal the universe's full story across time and wavelengths. It's like having two historians, one who reads illuminated manuscripts and another who deciphers ancient scrolls, each revealing different chapters of history. Now for the first time, we can finally read the universe's earliest records, unlocking secrets from the dawn of time itself. Imagine pointing a telescope at a tiny empty patch of sky and waiting for days, 
hoping to catch even the faintest glimmer of something new. It's a test of patience and curiosity, a leap of faith into the unknown. That's a deep field observation, and when Webb did it, it found not emptiness, but a treasure trove. Instead of darkness, the universe revealed a dazzling tapestry of light and history. In a single survey, Webb revealed 750 previously unknown galaxies from the universe's first billion years, each one a new chapter in the cosmic story hidden until now. This isn't just about numbers, it's about density and surprise. The sheer abundance of galaxies in such a small patch of sky was completely unexpected. We expected a few faint galaxies, but found a crowded metropolis, a cosmic cityscape teeming with activity, far busier than anyone imagined. The sheer number means the universe built galaxies much faster than we thought. Galaxies were forming and evolving at a breakneck pace, assembling themselves in record time. These galaxies are some of the most distant ever seen, each a self-contained island of stars, gas, and dust, tiny beacons shining from the dawn of time. They're the seeds of today's grand spirals and ellipticals, the ancestors of the galaxies we see in the night sky now. With so many, astronomers can finally study the universal laws of galaxy birth, not just individual oddities. Patterns and trends can now be uncovered, revealing the rules that shaped the cosmos. The universe got to work building things with surprising speed and vigor, assembling its first structures in a cosmic blink of an eye. This challenges our understanding of cosmic structure formation, forcing scientists to rethink how quickly and efficiently the universe can create complexity. Webb has opened the door to a cosmos far grander than our theories predicted, showing us a universe more crowded, dynamic, and creative than we ever dared to dream. The early universe was a bustling, creative place, alive with possibilities and still holding secrets waiting to be discovered. Webb's deep field images reveal not just numbers, but diversity, a cosmic ecosystem in all its forms. The 750 new galaxies aren't just red dots, they're a menagerie of shapes and stories. Some are compact blue clumps, furious star nurseries. Others are elongated, clumpy, and chaotic, shaped by collisions and mergers. We're witnessing galactic creation and cannibalism, lived from 13 billion years ago. Some galaxies already show hints of structure, bright cores, faint disks, blueprints for modern galaxies like the Milky Way. The universe didn't wait billions of years to build complexity. It started early. This variety paints a vivid picture. The early cosmos was dynamic, bustling, and creative. Galaxies formed stars efficiently, grew through chaos, or settled into order, all at once. There wasn't one way to build a galaxy, there were many. Webb is the first tool powerful enough to reveal this rich tapestry. The early universe was a place of wild experimentation. Among the hundreds of new galaxies, a few are especially puzzling, the red monsters. These are ultra-massive galaxies, nearly as big as the Milky Way, existing within the universe's first billion years. Their size and dustiness defy our standard models. Galaxies shouldn't grow this big, this fast. It's like finding a fully grown oak tree just weeks after planting the seed. These galaxies formed stars with super efficiency, building up immense populations in record time. Theories can't explain how they assembled so quickly. Maybe their dark matter halos were more massive, or the physics of early star formation was different. Whatever the answer, these red monsters are signposts to a new understanding of cosmic growth. They force us to rethink how the universe builds its largest structures. As if red monsters weren't enough, Webb found a galaxy that defies the early universe's conditions. Jade's GSZ-131, seen just 330 million years after the Big Bang, shines with a strong Lyman Alpha signal, light that should have been blocked by a fog of hydrogen. Instead, this galaxy carved out a transparent bubble around itself, clearing the cosmic fog far earlier than expected. This process, called reionization, was thought to take a billion years, yet here it's happening much sooner. How? Maybe this galaxy hosted exotic, massive population 3 stars, or an early supermassive black hole blasting out energy. Either way, it's a landmark discovery. This single observation raises profound questions about the power and nature of the first galaxies. The early universe was more transparent and more dynamic than we thought. Webb is revealing surprises at every turn. The rules of Cosmic Dawn are being rewritten. 
Every leap in astronomy rewrites our cosmic story. Now Webb is forcing us to revise the opening chapter. Hundreds of mature galaxies, red monsters and unexpected light all point to a universe that built itself faster and more creatively than we imagined. The standard model, Lambda CDM, explained much. But Webb's discoveries show it's incomplete. Maybe dark matter behaves differently, or the first stars were more powerful than we thought. Science thrives on these challenges. New data, new questions, new models. The Big Bang still stands, but our map of the early universe is being redrawn. Webb is providing the new, more accurate records. The race is on to build theories that fit this rush of early cosmic creation. The greatest discoveries spark even deeper questions. Webb's 750 early galaxies, red monsters, and the galaxy that pierced the fog have opened a new frontier. How did galaxies and black holes grow so big, so fast? Did dark matter halos evolve differently? What powered the super efficiency of early star formation? Are we seeing the first population three stars or the earliest supermassive black holes? These mysteries are the legacy of JWS, puzzles for the next generation of astronomers. Webb isn't just a tool for today, it's an engine for future discovery. The universe is far from solved. The most exciting chapters are just beginning. Why does any of this matter? Because it speaks to our sense of wonder and our quest for context. These discoveries help answer, where did we come from? Are we alone? Studying the first galaxies is tracing our own lineage to its source. Every atom in us was forged in ancient stars. This is our story too. Webb's achievements push human ingenuity, inspire new generations, and unite us in awe. Its images and discoveries remind us we're part of something vast and ancient. Looking out at the cosmos, we see ourselves differently, small but connected. Webb's discoveries are a gift to all humanity. The story of cosmic revelation is still being written among the stars.